Day 45. My son and I, we went to uh, see Jordan Peterson at a uh, local venue. He's on. He's promoting his book, The 12, 12 uh, Rules for Life. I haven't looked up The 12 Rules for Life yet, but I will. <laughs> um, the show was interesting in as much as, you know, he basically came out and gave a lecture, and his idea was to cover all 12 rules, but he only got to the first five. And that, I think, comes down to preparation. I, I don't think he was as prepared as he should have been for the show. But hey, if you can fill a, an auditorium with everybody paying 50 bucks a head and just talk about your book, which means they're not only going to buy it, but buy tickets, it's a good gig. Um, the Rise of Jordan Peterson just basically comes down to the fact that um, he's looking at... Uh, He's more or less saying that a lot of the crap in our world right now, political correctness and gender designations, and it's a lot of crap because it's, you can't have a society where everybody's all right. They have to have a society that has a hierarchy, and, uh, and it's not fair, but life's not supposed to be fair. Life's supposed to be what you earn. The situation I'm having with my girl is not fair. But it's what I deserve. If I was a rock star, if I was worth a lot more money, who knows, maybe she'd still be here. Maybe at a bigger house. Who knows, maybe she'd still be here. Maybe my attitude was better, stronger. Maybe she'd still be here. These are things I don't know. I have a hunch that if some of those things are true, that is very much so would be the case. Because women don't love a man for just because we're men. They love us because what we bring to the table. Love is not free. Love has cost. If you want to have a beautiful woman in your life, you have to be what she wants. She's not, for the, you know, I was driving down the road today and I saw some schlub walking on the other, on the wrong side of the road. He had some work clothes on, whatever, he probably was 100 pounds overweight. And I thought to myself, there's a guy who's never going to get some decent pussy in his entire life. Because life isn't fair. He can work hard and do everything he wants, but his depiction, his look is not going to attract women. No one is going to be interested in him. I had a woman approach me on, I uh, got my profile up on a dating app, and I think my buzzer went off the other day. And classic, cute, cute chick online, but um, all headshots. And in my exchange with her, she's like, can you be happy with a curvy, um, a curvy, uh, a confident woman. The minute she said that, I knew land well. And a little did a little work, did a little recon, and sure as shit, that's the deal. And that's what you see in our society. There's a a lot of women who are like, "I'm a confident, curvy woman." Great, you be confident and curvy, but you're not going to get the kind of man you want. You know, these women think they can, you know talk to guys and get you know get the get the man they want but the man they want does not want them because he can do better you know my 30 year old redhead she's beautiful and and um she's attracted me because I'm a decent looking guy and I appear to have my shit together whether they do or not is another matter <laughs> I do but you know, as we've already established here, I have these insecurities inside me, which are caused, which is the reason this project exists. But I'm definitely working on destroying them. Life's a work in progress. But this woman, this woman, and other women like her are expecting other men to be like, "Oh yeah, I'll I'll put away my two million years of evolution and talk myself into liking your overweight body and." It just doesn't work. 
men are not interested in men know what they like they like a nice figure nice demeanor that's what they want um she has money apparently though so I guess she can buy the affections of a man but the quality of that relationship is really going to suck for her as far as I'm concerned I can't imagine a sugar mama relationship being very satisfying for the woman I don't know I just can't imagine it because as a man I certainly can't perform well when I'm not attracted to a woman whether she's rich or not I really don't care if she's rich So, therein lies the rub. Love is not free. Love has a cost. If this woman was smart, she would hit the gym for a year, clean up her body, her teeth a little crooked too, so she spent some money on that, and then she'd be 45, and she had a cute face and stuff, and so if she was to do that, she'd have a good five years to attract a good quality man to be with her for the duration. She's not likely to do that. Because it takes work. I personally could be physically better. I think everybody could. Um, and I'm working on it. You know, you, you sort of balance your day, right? I mean, I could dedicate myself just to my physicality and then other, other areas would suffer. So it's always a balancing act. Even my girl, the, the project subject of this project, now without makeup, she was not, she was okay. But when she put on makeup, she, she didn't wear a lot of makeup. She, she, did her, she was a nice package when she was put together, but when she wasn't put together, she's pretty plain Jane. But I had the blinders of love. Because she did have a nice body, great body, smoking body, and well, all I can, as I've said over and over again, she was unbelievable in the sack. Yeah, that's the part I miss the most. Love is not free. So, um, you know, if you're contemplating, you know, as I contemplate the next few years of my life, I think very much so I could keep this this 30-year-old interested for a long time. At least till I'm 60. I could probably keep her on the hook for, well, it depends how I play my cards, right? I mean, she's pretty codependent, so maybe I could keep her forever if I play it right. I'm just talking purely analytical. I don't, I'm, I'm not, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. And, and you know what? Yes, I've got my profile on this one dating app, but it's like dropping a hook you're trying to you're trying to fish for tuna and your and and all there is there is is sturgeon or whatever whatever undesirable fish there is i'm I'm not expecting much but um and to be blunt, I just was thinking you know how often do people say you should have a spare girl in the background? It's a terrible thing to think about, but if I had, had if I had had a spare girl in the background, my behavior with my other girl would have been radically different. I fucking hate that the world has descended into this. I know you make your reality what it is, and maybe if I had manifested that differently. But um, anyway, it is what it is. Just remember, guys, love is not free.